Baby, I'm live already. <laughs> Show time. Good evening. How is everybody? Hey, Renee Bledsoe. My little puppy knows when I go live and she comes and stands by this door because she wants me to give her a treat and she knows most of the time I'll give in because she scratches on the door. I see Renee on here. Who else is on here with me? I see four, five. Hey, Chandra, good evening. Yeah, Chandra, so there's Tab Keaton. Nice to have you. I hope we have a lot of people. I got on a little bit early to help people find where we were. So hopefully they will. Tab, where are you from? Hey, Melody. You are so welcome. I did, uh, I did one last month too, Melody. And if you want the link, I can show you where that is. It was fun. It was a fun one. It was like more of it was personal stuff than today is going to be some personal, but some just hidden gems tabs from Brandon. Okay. Okay. Hey, Miss Andrea. I got my cloth soap in the mail today. It is wonderful. So Renee, you got the, the, uh, eco strips, huh? Yeah, Melody, go ahead and, and uh, tag some people. Anybody that you want to tag so that they get on here? Hey, Miss Loretta, how are you? I think your sister has some people at her house that are going to be watching. Hey, Elisa. It is straight up seven. Let's give everybody about one more minute to jump on here with us and then I will go. We're gonna be on here about 30 minutes all total. Miss Loretta, is your sister there watching with you? Hey, Lori, Sullen Smith. Uh-oh, my internet is in and out. I'm sorry. Is anybody else having trouble? Is it Miss Tab's internet or is it mine? I hope. It is not mine, but it may be. <laughs> Where this? Everybody's getting on. Okay, it is 7.01. We can't get it on the TV. Hmm. Hey, Pam Messer. It's me, it's spotty when it rains. I get you, Tab. Sometimes our um, TV does that with the least little storm we have come up. Okay, so everybody's had about a minute to jump on. I think we'll go ahead and be respectful of everybody's time and get started. And the beautiful thing about this is if they miss the first few minutes, they can always jump back on after it's over because it'll be on there as a recording. So, I am Kim Sandifer. I'm a Norwex consultant. I found Norwex back in April of 2017. I wanted a lot of the stuff, and so I knew that the best way to get the most bang for my buck was to be a consultant and use the discount. I do want to tell you all about something that Norwex is releasing tomorrow at noon. You normally have a sales requirement. It costs $10.69 to join and they send you this really nice kit. You are not live on our TV. Yeah, Miss Loretta, it's just gonna be on Facebook. It's not gonna be on a TV. So, unless you have Apple TV, you probably are just gonna have to watch it on your phone or like an iPad. <laughs> anyway, technology, right? So, um, normally there is a sales requirement of $1,000 in 30 days and your kit's free, or you sell 2,000 in 90 days and your kit's free. Well, right now, and hey, Cindy Butterworth, 
right now instead of ten dollars and sixty nine cents and a kit and sales requirements at noon tomorrow it's going to be twenty dollars there won't be a nice big kit coming it's going to be an envir cloth and a window cloth but you are a full-fledged consultant you have a dashboard you can take orders but there's no sales requirement it's kind of like a join for free in the fact that there's no sales requirements, but uh, it's $20 and you get an Envire cloth and a window cloth. You get the dashboard, you get 35% discount. What you don't get is the sales requirement. So if anybody's thinking, I would like Norwex, I would like to sell this, I would like to show my friends, let me know. Let the person that invited you know, um, we could sign you up under whoever that is. So tonight we're gonna talk about some hidden gems, which is basically stuff that never gets highlighted. Um, we usually go over our Safe Haven 5, which is our Envire cloth and our window cloth, which are our number one and number two seller, our dusting mitt, our cleaning paste, and our detergent. Okay, so those are the Safe Haven 5. And we always talk about the mop because it is the most coveted item in the whole catalog. It is a fantastic mop. You will never need another mop. But tonight, instead of talking about those, we're gonna talk about things that never get talked about. So, the first one that we're gonna start with is this little guy right here. So this is a mop sprayer attachment. So our mop has a dry pad and it replaces your broom or your um, vacuum cleaner, whatever you normally dry, mop, sweep your floor with. And then there is a wet pad. Well, as you're mopping your home, sometimes that, that wet pad, this is what it looks like, will get a little sluggish and hard to push. And most of us just run back to the sink and we rinse this out and re-wet it and keep going. Um, sometimes people take a forever bottle with water in it and they'll spray their pad back down and get it nice and wet. Um, because basically it's just drying out as you're going through your house. Well, Norwex knew that. Norwex was like, love our mop. It's the greatest thing ever. Every now and again, that wet pad has to be re-wet. And so they made this to hook on to our mop pole. So there's water in this portion and you just stick it down in here. And then this connects to your base and your pole. Now, I'm gonna tell you guys, once you get it hooked on here, you don't normally have to take this piece back off. Just this little part comes out and you can refill it with water, okay? This screws off right here. Run it under the sink and then uh, fill it back up. I did see a few people that have super hard water and were having like um, some clouding on their uh, vinyl uh, tile. You know, a lot of people are doing those vinyl floors now. They would put distilled water in here to get rid of that cloud. Hey, Jill Tony. so nice to have you. So this just goes in here and I'm going to point this down where hopefully you guys can see. So you hold the pole at a 90 degree angle and you just take both hands and it squirts. Did y'all see that? Okay. So the pole is extended, you're mopping your floor, you're normally at an angle, right? You're mopping around. The pad begins to get sluggish and you need a little water, you're gonna hold it at a 90 degree angle and you're gonna use both hands and just squirt. Pretty cool, right? And then continue mopping. Okay, so that's the little demo on that. Let me tell you some information I wrote down about it. This mop pad with water, just water, no pine saw, no fabuloso, nothing else needed can clean your floor to 99% bacteria free. That pad. So I have used this pad before and done the chicken demo. Y'all know where I rub raw chicken and then I wipe it up with an Envir cloth and then I use the protein swab. You can do that with this pad. It's got our microfiber. It can clean the floor to 99% bacteria free with just water. And you know, a lot of times when people mop and then other people come walking through the house, especially with tennis shoes on, you hear that creak, 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 and it leaves like a chemical sticky residue. None of that with this. 
No chemicals are needed. Uh, it re-wets your mop pad as you're cleaning. There's 160 sprays in one of these little fillings. So once one time of filling it up, we'll give 160 sprays. And look, when you're done, you don't have to empty this. There is um, some type of silver antibacterial something in here that keeps this water from getting gross because they say you don't have to empty it. And I haven't emptied mine and it's done fine. Um, you know, a lot of times when you leave water um, in something like a glass or something, it'll stagnate. Um, this water is clean, it looks good. If you're worried about it, just empty it out, let it stay dry in between times. Um, it's up to you really how you wanna roll with that. So there's reduced waste and chemicals um, from other solutions. You don't have to have any of those products that run out. Um, sometimes we have things that are disposable, single-use mop pads. Y'all know what I'm talking about? The Swiffers and things, and then you've got the pack that hangs on the pole and then the pads themselves, and you throw them away and there's cost and it's not sustainable. All those run out and you have to go grab some more. Um, this mop that we have works on wood, laminate, tile, marble, vinyl, um, concrete. It works on concrete floors. There is not a floor that this mop will not mop. It does great. Um, hold it at a 90 degree angle. Dampen the pad before, so that is key. So wet this whole pad. I'll run it under water. Cut the water on, run it under water, let it get nice and wet. And then I just wring it out. I lay it on the floor. I attach it to my pad. I start to mop. And for the most part, it does good till I'm about halfway and then it gets to feel sluggish. And then I will spray it and re-wet the pad. Let me spray it one more time. Can y'all see that coming out? And then you just mop through it and it keeps your pad nice and wet so it moves easily and not like you're really pushing hard. It looks like it works on cabinets also. Yes, Renee, I was like, how am I gonna demo this? So the kids are all here eating. My future son-in-law said, I get you're gonna squirt it on your cabinet. So that was the only way I needed to demo it, but that's funny, right? Um, let's see. Oh, it says if you're ever gonna like uh, put your dry pad on here and and mop the walls with it to take the water off before you turn it up above your head because I imagine this water could drip out on your head no chemical residue and no squeaky shoes so our dry pad when you put it on you can actually dust your walls with it and it's saying don't flip this over with this on here like take this whole thing off before you flip the the mop upside down. I get that, we don't want water dripping down our arms and in our head, right? Okay, doke, so that's our sprayer. Y'all, the sprayer came out in January. Um, it sold out super fast. They got a few back in stock. They sold out super fast. Back in July, I think it was, the sprayer made its way back and we have plenty in stock now. So if anybody wants this mop sprayer, it's amazing. I think it is. Let me check the price point on it. I think it's, I don't want to say, $39.99. It's a great addition. 160 sprays. It's got a one-year warranty. Um, love this thing. Okay, next item we're going to talk about are our toothbrushes. So this is actually my Norwex Silver Care toothbrush. Okay? According to research, the most common bacteria found in toothbrushes are the same ones that cause plaque, cavities, gingivitis, and bad breath. The silver base of this um, brush has natural and continuous antibacterial properties. As the bristles dry, the brush is sanitized. Y'all know about our backlog, right? Um, antimicrobial properties interrupt the bacteria, the fungi, and the viruses. This reduces waste in our landfills because it's reusable. You can pop this um, head out. See that little silver right there? I'm gonna pop it out here and show you. Um, you never throw away the whole brush. You just throw away this little piece. And you can buy the refills 
and they just pop right back in there. Okay, let me show you the refill. And what's really cool is, you know, with everything that you get, I try to reuse things um, as I can. I wanna show y'all this, this is cool. So I take my, my refill, it comes in this little case. So you get two refills at a time and you just pop it back in your brush. It is time for a refill. I usually refill in October, April and October, but I'm gonna go ahead and refill right now. So there's that. When I get ready to take it out in six months, three to six months, it's really um, your choice. You just pop this one out, throw it in the garbage, okay? And then you can just keep the handle. So our um, CEO, our COO, Chief Executive Officer, Co-Founder, she's had the same toothbrush handle for over 20 years. Um, I think that's so funny. She just keeps changing the head out. But this little box right here that these two refills came in is the perfect size to put your bobby pins in when you are traveling or whatever you want to put in that little case. Love that, right? Okie doke. Um, replace every three to six months. It recommends three. Um, most dentists say every six months, so just use your best judgment, three to six months. Um, we also have a whitening toothpaste and we also have a mouthwash. So the toothbrush itself, um, let me see, I should have looked all this up ahead of time to save myself some time, right? The toothbrush. There's an index in the back of the catalog. That's helpful, right? Toothbrush. It's not under T's. What is wrong with this picture here? Here it is. Uh, Adult Silver Care Toothbrush. The toothbrush itself is $21 or $29.99 and then the refills are $14.99. They come in soft and medium. Okie doke. Next hidden gem we have are our napkins. So we have cloth napkins. They have our backlock technology in them. We have two different colors. We have the peacock. These are a brand new set. And then we have the leaves. I grabbed these right off my table. Um, finally got my connection, great to see you. Hey, Stacy. Um, so you reduce the use of paper towels or napkins. When you have our napkins, they're made from recycled plastic bottles. There are five 500 milliliter plastic bottles in this one cloth, right? And they're washable. So I usually, um, put them on the table at supper time. We'll use them one or two nights and then I throw them in the wash. Um, it protects, the backlock protects against microbes, viruses, bacteria, it saves money. They dry really quickly. Um, every day it, call, it takes 51,000 trees and 60 million gallons of water for North America's paper towel habit. So y'all grab you some Norwex napkins. Um, a family of four uses three thousand napkins a year that's crazy right so we have two sets i have this leaf set once all of those are dirty and in the um dirty clothes i break out the gray set once the gray set's done it's usually time to wash a load of clothes and so they just run through the washer they run through the dryer um you can use our detergent or something similar with free in the name um, no uh, bleaching these, no fabric softener, no dryer sheets. So the same rules that we use for all our other items too. All right, we're gonna have to take a little journey to talk about this one and it's our dish mat. Mine is currently in use. So I'm gonna take you guys over here to my dishes. I'm gonna flip you around where you can see. So this is my drain board and my dish mat. I just got done cleaning up supper. And so we have two colors. We have this mushroom and then we have graphite. You always put the netted side up. Um, here in a little bit, these will be air dried. I'll put everything in the cabinets right before I go to bed. I will grab this. There's a little tag right here. And I will hang it, usually on this knob, and I'll let it air dry overnight. So you don't wanna leave it here and just sitting and getting wet from the drip off of my dishes and then staying wet. 
overnight because it could uh, mildew. So make sure that it gets, once a day, it gets nice and dry. That little pad right there soaks up twice its weight in water. Um, it's got the back lock in it, so it protects against microbes and odors. Dish racks take up a lot of space on your counter, and so this is something that you could pick up and store. A lot of people keep theirs under their sink when they're not using them. It saves a lot of money by not running your dishwasher for smaller loads. I know most of us are gonna use our dishwasher um, for the larger loads. Melody's looking at the page numbers for me. I love you, Melody. Page 35, it's $31.99, love that. Um, is it, is, you are talking about this dish pad. Let me look up real quick. Melody's being Vanna for me. Yes, she is, thank you, Melody. Um, the mesh side goes up. Um, crystal could be dried on there, your pots and pans, your cast iron, your wooden spoons, things you would never put in the dishwasher, right? Um, once you decide it's time to wash that pad, you can throw it in the wash, throw it in the dryer, it's ready to go again. That little um, hook that's on there is super handy for drying it. Um, and we also have dishcloths, we have dishwashing liquid, we have a lot of things for the kitchen. Some people don't even know we have kitchen stuff. They're like, y'all have kitchen stuff? Yes, we have kitchen cloths. Okie doke. This is right here is your dishwasher stuff. So let's say that you are gonna use your dishwasher. We have Ultrasound dishwasher powder, and then we also have the Rinse Aid that's kind of like, you ever heard of Jet Dry to help your dishes dry without spots? This is our version of Jet Dry. It's called Rinse Aid Plus. And this is our Ultrazyme. And I feel like Melody's gonna tell us a page number and a price point here in a minute because they are sold together uh, in a duo. Ultrazyme is a powerful enzyme-based detergent. It's got dual action enzymes, cleans your machine, removes buildup and odors inside your washer as well as your dishes. 45 loads per jar. No bleach, no phosphates, no fragrances, no dyes. Phosphates are hard on our streams, lakes, and rivers, and they increase algae growth and contribute to water pollution. So, our brand is this enzymatic ultrazyme and then the rent say to go with it. I don't see a page number just yet. I love them too, Scarlett. They really do um, make the inside of your dishwasher not to have that odor that sometimes gets in there because the enzymes are like little Pac-Man and they eat it all up. So let me find your price point on this one. Um, together, it's called the Dynamic Dish Duo, and it is $31.99. And I did some comps on prices between Cascade and Jet Dry, and then Ultrazyme and our Rinse Aid, and they are very comparable um, within a penny of the price point. So ours is one penny more, but, but it cleans the inside of your dishwasher which is the other one that's so like in the drain in the basket where sometimes food gets stuck and stays. That's gross, right? Our pillowcases is the next item I'm gonna talk about. So I went and stole mine off my bed. This is what the pillowcase looks like. It's a cloud white, so it's not a pure white. We also have these in gray, and we have standard and, and um, king size. And look, I'm smelling it because I, I put lavender oil on my pillow about uh, twice a week. I'll just dab some little essential oil and that's what I'm smelling, it smells amazing. Um, so at night, I know this is gonna be gross. We're gonna get a little gross here, okay? Um, you lose skin cells, right? We lose hair, there's dandruff. Sometimes if you're sleeping really good, there's some drool. Um, sweat, all of those can soil your pillows, right? And even your mattress. So we have a mattress cleaner. Uh, it's amazing. You spray it all over your mattress when you're washing your sheets and it has enzymes in it too that break down all the organic material that's in our mattresses. But this pillowcase has backlock in it. And so this antibacterial agent in our pillowcases inhibits bacterial growth on those pillowcases. Our pillowcases are on page 46 in the catalog. <coughs> um, 
The standard uh, pillowcases are $46.99 and the king are $51.99. And the gray ones and the king size has a, have an envelope closure here on the end, meaning that there's a corner that's folded in like that to keep your pillow from sliding out. The white ones, I don't know why, but the white ones don't have it. So this is my white one. I love this because it's so satiny. It's very soft. It's been tested on acne causing bacteria and it's proven to reduce it by 99%. So if you've got kids that are in that age where they have a lot of acne, um, that the backlock technology in here prevents it from um, harboring bacteria and causing those to be worse. Love you, Melody. She's got the page number and the prices. You're awesome. Fresher pillows, decrease exposure to bacteria. They're breathable, they're soft. We have king size, we have gray, and we have white, white and they're easy to care for. Goes in your washer, goes in your dryer. Same rules, don't bleach our microfiber in our backlog, um, but it can go in the washer. Use our detergent or something similar that has free in the name. Uh, don't use fabric softener or dryer sheets, and they're amazing. I love the way it smells. It smells like lavender. Okie doke. Dryer balls, we're almost done. Our dryer balls. Now y'all, I am not 100% sure that we still have the little sheep ones. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. Probably gonna upset some people right now. Fluff and tumble dryer balls. Where are you? Page 28. Let's see, yep, they're just in this catalog in white. So I should have just brought the white ones because when I show you these, you're gonna want them. Oh, are these just white? Oh, good, okay. For a while, right around Christmas time, we had some that had sheep on them. They had little bitty sheep. These are the white ones, I'm glad, okay? Three dryer balls. They're made of New Zealand wool, which apparently is the best wool in the whole wide world. I mentioned this to a bunch of people that knit. They went crazy. They're like, y'all got New Zealand wool in your wool dryer balls? I'm like, yes, we did. I had no idea, it was so amazing. Um, dryer sheets are filled with chemicals. So what you're, you're gonna wanna do is get rid of those. Get rid of your dryer sheets, they are full of chemicals. You're going to put two or three drops of essential oils on each of these balls if you want a little scent. If you're like, I don't want scent, I don't do smells, I don't like all that stuff. Then just throw all three of these in your dryer at one time and leave them. They toss your clothes around, they keep them separated, and they decrease your drying time. Um, they reduce wrinkles, they reduce static. Um, when I do use essential oils, I try to put the oils on at the very end. You know how you go and you're like, let me check and see if everything's dry? And you usually have a few more minutes that you need to dry them. Um, put your little drops of oil on there then so that it's a little louder in the smell, because if you put the beginning of the cycle the heat will cause the smell to dissipate from those oils it's never going to smell loud like a dryer sheet though um, page 28 they're 29.99 melody i can tell you right now thank you um she's providing page numbers and the price i love you there's a two-year warranty just like your vehicle when it gets to 36,000 miles we don't go get a new car at least most of us don't i've had the same set of dryer balls for about five years now five and a half. When they get a little weird looking, like they're not as nice around, I just put them in a sock. Each one of these goes in a big long tube sock. Put them in the washer and they shrink back down because it's New Zealand wool and that's what it does. Um, let's see what else I want to say about them. To refresh the static reduction quality, place each of these in a sock, wash on hot water with detergent, remove from the sock and place in the dryer on the this heat setting so it'll just like shrink back down and look I had a lady that had a set from Walmart she had six balls in her dryer she had six balls three of them were Walmart and three of them were our her puppy got a hold of one of her dryer balls one time and the Walmart had a round cardboard center and then another of her puppy a few years later got this other one and she said it's wool all the way through there's no cardboard so these are really good quality. They're gonna last you a super long time. You're gonna get dryer sheets out of your life and you're still gonna have nice, soft, fluffy, dry towels, clothes, and all things. Do you understand how to do the dryer? How 
do they need to be replaced? It's they're warranted for two years. Um, I've had mine five and a half. I don't know that they really need to be replaced unless you're just like, I want to replace it. It's time to replace it. Um, they work for a long time, kind of like our environment. But if you want to replace them after three years, a thousand drying cycles, you could do that too. I've had the same set for a half years. They're rocking. I don't plan to replace them anytime soon. And can you imagine the savings from not having to buy dry sheets? Okay, our Forever Bottles. This is mine that has Ultra Pack Plus laundry to dry mixed up in it. Um, it's got a really nice sprayer nozzle. It's a glass bottle with silicone base. When you have the door closed, it's a foamer. And you have it open to spray. See the little right there? It's a really thick foam and then opened in a nice spray. Um, this is what it looks like brand new ice box with nothing in it. It's a frosted glass. They will break if you drop them. Silicone can protect to some degree, but um, they will break. I had two ladies have slip out of their hand and break. The silicone helps to prevent slipping, um, but they will break. Not to get the oil on your laundry. I've never had those oils show up like polka dots in my clothes. I thought they would. Um, I don't know how it doesn't. I guess I don't put like a whole lot of. She's talking about these. Uh, I just put three drops on each ball and then throw it in the dryer. Never polka dotted oil in laundry. All right, pay $8.99 for your warranty bottle and really it's the only thing that replaces the knob. If you break it, that's not covered under warranty. Um, I have I actually for Duckworth made these little um, labels to there for our UP people didn't come with the bottle. And I have one with no enzyme, with odor elimination. I just label the bottles so that you can see. Thank you for the surgery. The brush. We've got, we like, no time. It's at 7.30. It's there. Rubber brush. Um, I use this mop with my iPad. I use this with our one. I use this with our dust, our lint mat. But Nor my Norwex thing I use this with are, like, floor mats in my car. Um, I use this on the front and back door three rugs. I use this on the furniture that maybe has hair on it. Um, I use this on my mats to reduce hair and to them. The cool thing is, is the brushes are very far apart. So it's nice and dirty. You just simply rinse it or hang it up and let it dry. Um, trying to see as we're commenting. Uh, paper, dust, dirt, grass, mats, throw crumbs off of the Rinse the Super easy to use. It's got our little hand. It's got our logo on the top. Um, great for the bottom of the floor. I love that. Okay, Dad, let me give you guys a price point. Rubber brush. Page 22. It is $19.99. Quickly, your mop pad, entry mat, your wand, brush the debris into the trash and use. It removes pet crumbs and from textile, textile seats, furniture, carpeted seats. Great thing to have. So those are our hands. If anybody has questions about any of this stuff, comment below. Be glad to answer those. We get off of here get those comments for a little while and any questions. Um, we thought in 30 minutes um, the invited you more than like Norwex consultant or knows her Norwex consultant you're going to want to them if you have any of these to uh, in your home you can order from if you guys want to join we've got a really good starts at noon you can join dollars and no requirements i hope you guys have a good evening. i went three minutes my days um rest with hope you guys of sales 
consultants and how to fill your house with Norway clean, easy speaker, sustainable time and safe. Bye guys. Thank y'all.